So I've really had it on my heart to make this video. Um, I guess you could say that I've been nervous to talk about this because number one, I don't want somebody to think that I'm talking bad about somebody they know. And um, I also feel really vulnerable about this. But um, I just decided that it's time to step out and be honest and open about some things that I've gone through. Um, one of the reasons is I started going to a counseling group, a support group, uh, last year. And something that happened to me, I was really surprised when I talked about it, that it had happened to other people. And even though I wouldn't want people to go through this as well, it helped me. It was kind of empowering to know that I wasn't alone. So, um, anyways, what you, you hear in this video might make you kind of upset, especially if you know me and you're close to me. But um, I just ask that don't leave comments trying to be supportive of um, this thing that I've gone through. If you feel like doing that, please go talk to someone who you feel like might need your support and support them instead. Um, this is really just a video to help people know that they're not alone and that we all go through hard times. Um, so, basically, something that I've been through that has been really, really hard for me was, um, so I've been in a couple relationships that were really horrific, I guess you could say. Um, a couple of years ago, one of the men who I had been in a relationship with called me, and he had made a list of reasons why the world would be better off if I wasn't here. And this was, it was devastating to me. Um, some of the things on the list talked about, um, you know, when I was a single mom and how um, maybe I'd been a financial burden on my parents, um, that the kids would be better off if I wasn't around, that they felt like, I wasn't a good mother, and um, if I wasn't around, then someone else could take care of the kids, and they could have the stability of just being at one house. Uh, just, there was a lot of things on this list. Well, I have to say, it really, really was devastating to me, because as the days, and especially the nights went on, I started thinking, gosh, there's there's a lot of validity to this list. So. Um, Anyways, in this support counseling group, I brought this up, and it really surprised me because um, if I counted all the people, all the women who were in the room, 40% of them said that they had had um, someone that they'd been in a relationship before do the same thing to them. Maybe they didn't have a specific list, but they told them reasons why the world would be a better place if they weren't in it anymore. So... Um, devastating devastating thing to go through because it really does stick with you and it's hard to admit this that this is something that I have gone through um, and even harder to admit that these things that they said that they really did get to me um, but they did and so I wanted to talk about things that I did and have done and that have really made me feel better um, the advice of a counselor they said to make a list uh, similar to what you do when you're really, really sad, um, but also when you're kind of in that ruminating type of thinking of, oh, this is, you know, they gave me these reasons, this is why they're valid. So I went through the list of things that he had said, reasons why the world would be a better place without me, and um, I put two columns next to those. I put... Um, reasons that he had said and whether um, they were true or false. So when I finally went through that list, I was shocked to realize that the things that they had said, um, they were false when you really, really started looking at it. Now, when you get depressed and sad, it's a lot easier to say, oh, this is totally true, this is why, because you get in the emotion side of it. But this is totally not looking at emotions, this is looking at the facts of it. The second thing that I did that really helped me um, was making a, a list of things to do to stay busy. So once you can look through and say, this is why it's true, this is why you know the world would be better off without me, or this is why it's true that the world is better with me here. So anyways, the counselor said, 
to make a list of action items. Sorry, there's like a million cups in here because I am I am addicted to coffee. I love it so much. And <laughs> I think an even worse addiction is uh, coffee cups. I love coffee cups, so I am constantly buying those. Anyways, this is my list. So, my distraction list. Things that I do when I start to get sad. Things um, that I can do by myself. And I go do these a lot. Um, things that... I can do if um, this isn't working, if I still stay, stay sad. Things that I can do with other people. So, um, you can see on here, go jam with other musicians, or um, biking, going to get coffee, things like that, calling someone I can really trust to talk to. But these are people I'm not gonna talk about that I'm sad or anything like that. I'm, I won't tell them that, you know, someone called and said these these things to me. These are just like light conversations to have fun. Sometimes we'll even have philosophical conversations. This is, um, if none of this helps, then I know that I'm gonna call my husband or my mom and talk about how I freaking feel. <laughs> um, other things I have on here, this is my bucket list. I want to live a life of substance, a life that matters. And, um, you know, you only have one life to to do certain things. So I have my really fun stuff on here. Um, one thing I'm really excited about doing, which sounds totally silly, is playing my violin um, in a shop window. I don't know when I'm gonna get to do that, but um, pretty awesome. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about how we all have hard things that happen to us. Um, you're not alone. You're really not. Um, I feel like a lot of people out there seem like they haven't been sad, they've never experienced depression, they've never gone through any of these things. But do you know what? I think that most people have. Um, some studies show that, um, for example, if you live in a town that has 50,000 people, 9,000 of them have experienced some pretty severe depression. Uh, I really wanted to talk about this because so I had a best friend who committed suicide. Um, I also know a lot of people who are experiencing tough times or I've known people who have committed suicide. Um, I think we really need to raise awareness about this. I just wanted to come out and say, yeah, there's times where I get really sad. Um, there's times where I feel like I haven't had the support maybe I need. Um, especially when you have someone call you and say something like this. And I know we've all been through that. We've had people say things they shouldn't. And um, anyways, I think the key to it is knowing that you can do things to stay happy. Uh, and then also reach out to people that you you know care. Um, even if you're watching this video, if you're having a tough time, I would love to be a sounding board for you too. Um, there's help in the area for you. Anyways. I just wanted to say that. So I think I'm going to go out and do something on my list. You don't even have to be sad <laughs> to go do something that's um, written down on your piece of paper if you decide to do something like that. So anyways, thanks for letting me share.